Let's look at how to use um, load containers and load combinations in visual analysis. So this is a beam with a cantilever, one support here, one support there, nothing too fancy. As I said before, all of the self-weight of these members, and this depends of course on the, the me member type and the material that you picked, is already included in the dead load container that you see right up here. And you see there are a lot of other um, containers too. There's, there's snow, there's live, there's, there's wind in all kinds of directions, and so on and so forth. And so if you have another set of loads, then of course you need to put them in the proper container. If you have more dead loads, for example, like a uniform floor load, then you can put it under dead loads. I'm going to add a live load right now. So I'll highlight both of these. I'm going to say create member load. <clears throat> Again, there are a lot of options here. You can have single or uniformly distributed load. I'm just going to have something on it. It doesn't really matter right now. So there's my live load on this member. And then if you want to add nodal loads, you can do that too. I highlighted the cantilever end node. And I'm going to say, okay, well, in the y direction, minus 1,000 pounds, just for the sake of it, right here. And now I have a distributed flow load and this one, and they're both in the live load container. Again, in the dead load container, it's really just the, um, the self-weight of the beam. And there's my live load. Now, if I analyze this, oops, as plain frame, then I get all my results. I get deflected shape and so on and so forth. <coughs> But one thing that I might want is a load combination because you see here I do have my dead load um, deflected shape and I do have my live load deflected shape and of course all of the results like bending results, bending stresses and so on. But I don't have a combination. So if I go back to model view, I can go into the load case manager. When you click in there, you get this very big dialog. Uh, which is set up so that you can actually apply some of the standard load cases that um, are there. So there's the IVC, uh, AC load cases, uh, and you see already for uh, both LRFD and ASD, you can pick any of those. So at the very least, one thing that you might want to check is a, a combination of dead plus live load. So I'm going to go with that one, but again, you know, you can go ahead and use and click as many of those as you need. You can also um, make your manual combinations right here. You can create your own factored combination, where, which is where you uh, include a certain combination of loads and apply factors to each of those, and um, equations, of course. But as you see here, Combination is dead and live. The effective equation is full dead plus full live. And it'll show up in allowable. And then when I click on close right here, I need to reanalyze, of course. But when I do that, now I do have the option of a dead plus live analysis. And I do get my deflected shape. And all the results will be reflecting this. So if I go to my moment, for example, right here. Now this is dead plus live. There's live only, and there's dead only. And again, you can now use the combination, of course, for your analysis um, very conveniently.